Aloha. Had to drop a snake off of FedEx today. And also, picking up a box from FedEx too. Now since I know this box is from Reach Out Reptiles, I'm assuming it's a snake. We're gonna have to find out. But since we're going down to FedEx to pick up a snake and drop off a snake, we decided we need to make a Costco run too, which is right in the same area. So I thought I'd bring you with me for that as well. Why not? Costco's fun, isn't it? Everybody loves going to Costco. Tell me about your favorite Costco experience. <laughs> I know it. Those look fun. What? What do you know? I know. Shopping. What about shopping? That we're doing it right now, and there are lots of different stores, and we're at Costco right now, and that's all I know for now. <laughs> What's this? Oh, what about this for the porch? You want to sit with the snakey tea? Oh, yeah. Don't, okay, keep it very gentle, okay? There's a snake in there. While at Costco, I ran into this old cowboy, and we had a great conversation about whiskey, and made me remember that I probably need to pick up some whiskey from Costco, too. Hey, you too. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to have to give this stuff a try. Uh, I'm for 20 Yeah, for 19 bucks, coming from Barton. I mean, because yeah. Barton is one of the, basically a Buffalo Trace sister company, right? Yeah, I think, I think it's all right, Costco, don't do me wrong here. Barton 1792 though, 19 bucks. Can't complain about that. You guys wanna see uh, some of the Whiskey Wimps channel here on this? Maybe a Costco Uncut coming up on Wednesday? How about that? You guys wanna see it? Leave a comment down below. Let, it, let me know if you wanna see me review this Costco whiskey right here on this channel. As a Buffalo Trace, Buffalo Trace. <laughs> that, that cowboy got me thinking. Whiskey. And Costco. And of course, since we're talking about whiskey and Costco, I figured I should probably pop over to BevMo too, because BevMo has a lot more whiskey than Costco, and I figured I should check that out as well. Why not? But yes, finally, let's get to the FedEx so that we can open up this snake. I'm sure you all clicked on the video because you want to see the unboxing of a snake that I don't know what the snake is. But we're going to see what it is nonetheless. Oh, you didn't have to, I didn't know you were going to sit there and film right there. Everybody going. The, this is the nice thing about going to a, being a regular at a FedEx. Like they don't even need to check my ID to pick up this snake right here. That's that's pretty cool. All right, let's go find out what it is. Oh, two little chickies. Two little chickies. Oh yeah, on the box. Yeah, you got little chickies on the box right there. They're very nice and cute. Cute little chickies. Yeah. All right. All right. Before we take the snake out of the box, I just wanted to give a little backstory on this snake. That again, I wasn't expecting it. I didn't know it was coming. Well, obviously they let me know the snake's coming, so that it would get picked up and not just send a snake blindly into the mail. Nobody in the right mind does that. Obviously, Reach Out Reptiles is setting industry standards in many different places. As far, whether it's marketing and advertising, whether it's standard of care, uh, customer service, I feel like these guys are just setting the bar all across the thing like it's just they're setting the bar high it's it's good i was at garrett's place which if you guys have not seen garrett before there's a link down in the description for garrett's channel reach out reptiles great channel great people whether it's the employees to the people getting the snakes all great people getting these little hints of it I, my buddy christopher sexton was over there at his facility and they sent this picture of a tub with a with my name on it something along those lines. I was like, what's happening here? And then if you go even further back, when I was out, out at Garrett's place, we were talking about super dwarves and snakes that I really like as far as locality specific looking snakes in reticulated pythons, which if you guys follow the channel, everybody knows there's a reticulated python in this box. And I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna drag it on. I know we went to Costco, we did all that. I just wanna give the backstory, it's important. This isn't just wham it's, it's about the journey, not just about arriving at the unboxed snake. Right, T? Yeah, exactly. She gets it, if she, if she gets it, you guys should get it, okay. Bantang Sulawesi, or Bantang Sulawesi, or Bantang Sulawesi, however you wanna say it. Garrett had some of those snakes in his place, and I was like, this, if you can make this a super dwarf, then maybe I want a snake from you. <laughs> Because I'm just, I'm not trying to get too many more snakes, honestly. And thank you, Garrett. The kindness of his heart sent us this snake because of the story. Are you, am I putting you to sleep over there? <laughs> okay. Well, then I think it's time to take the snake out of the box. Yeah. I think I'm super fancy with my, my custom tape. I got a whole custom box here. And my understanding is like, since the last time I unboxed a snake from Garrett, the, the process has gotten a lot more. Oh, talking to your microphone, T. There you go. What do you guys say? Say it again. 
Okay. You're not very talkative this time. It's because I'm boring. Heat pack. Did you know you can share your baby's progress by following the hashtag CL21020? So, if, I, if you hashtag, they view a hashtag to put on social media so you can follow your snake. That's cool. Super Dwarf Sulawesi, also known as the Goat Project, greatest of all time. I'm going to read this to you guys. Uh, it's a male, April 26, 2021. Uh, no heads. It's locality project. It's a, so it's a 50% Sulawesi, 25% Karampa, 25% Kalatoa. So the sire was a pure, pure Sulawesi, and the mother was a pure super dwarf. That's a Karampa Kalatoa cross. So all you guys that are purists as far as localities, this ain't the project for you. <laughs> but there's a note. It says, Brian, years ago when you held my Bantang mail... You said if I made that locality in Super Dwarf, it would be your first from me. So I made this guy for you. Thanks, Garrett. What a guy. What a guy. What a friend. Who who just makes a snake just for their friend? Just because like, you know, I'm not really interested in that project, but if you want one, I'll make one. Ooh, and look at these mugs have gotten bigger. This tiny mug right here barely holds my pee. This one is much more reasonable. Look at the mugs, do you want a mug? Look, now this is daddy's mug. And this is the tiny tea mug. Yeah? Yeah. You're so quiet today. Are we going to have to get snakey? <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, now it's time. If she's ready for it, you guys are ready for it. But first, check out this shirt. It's a large. It's a pretty color. This isn't your average Reach Out Reptiles color. That's a nice shirt, though. I'm going to wear that thing. Isn't it beautiful? Now are we going to get snakey? <laughs> Comment down below if you feel like Leia. Okay, T. I think there's a snake in here. It's, I'm pretty sure it's not just mugs and t-shirts, but I could be wrong. It might just be mugs and t-shirts. I don't know. I don't make the rules. Here we go. Okay. Look at that. Look at that packaging right there. Whoa. So tiny. Isn't it tiny? It's so cute. Look in there. There's a snake in there. Okay. Yeah, you gotta cut the little the little sticker on the front so you can open up the package. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Just a little baby tea. Oh, where's his mama? Wow. His mama is back at Garrett's house. We'll have to go to visit Garrett sometime and you can see mama. Okay, crazy, interesting. So guys, take a look at this. You got the the classic orange retic eye. And then I feel like I can see the... Oh, careful there, Dufu. I feel like I can see the Karampa. No, I, I can't see the Karampa. I feel like I can see the Kalatoa in the back there. Or maybe because of the, the higher amount of uh, saddles. It's a good looking snake. And then the Sulawesi, I think I'm seeing because of the the exaggerated black. Uh, Dad is at Garrett's house too. The exaggerated amount of black. Where's his food? His food? His food? We got food in the freezer for him. We can, oh, yeah. yeah, we can feed him later. I'm thinking it's the exaggerated amount of black is the, is the uh, expression from the Sulawesi th showing through. And then kind of that intense patterning. I, I am not a expert whatsoever at identifying retics based on their localities. Because this is a, a pure locality project in the sense that it's there's no morph involved here. It's just Sulawesi, Kalatoa, and Karampa. It's crawling to me. It's crawling to you, <laughs> What it is is certainly a beautiful snake. Uh, Garrett, I would love if you would comment down below and tell us what... The different things we're seeing are as far as features of these this these localities mixed together in this snake that would be great if you could do that for us buddy and i will pin your comment so that everybody can read it um but certainly a gorgeous snake hey leah how do you want to do about you want to try and hold a super dwarf because you're great at holding ball pythons at this point but i think you gotta try a super dwarf what do you think <laughs> A 
reach out reptiles super doors ready to hold my three-year-olds right out of the box I'm trying to get a good shot here so that everybody can see the pattern and stuff but you know these snakes just don't film as well as ball pythons maybe you can work on that Garrett. can you can you work in uh, some ball python to this so they sit still when I'm trying to take pictures of them that'd be great thanks <laughs> He's booping you on the nosy for all the times you booped all those ball pythons on the nosy. You think? Yeah. Well, you're doing a great job, T. You look very orange. Your reach out reptile is orange right now. Look at that. Look at that. You, you matched the card. <laughs> well, hey, Garrett, thank you very much for the snake. You guys, if you haven't seen Garrett's channel, I mean, I don't know how you could know me and not know Garrett. He's on the channel so much. I mean, his vlog is on my vlog. Uh... It's a big inside joke. Link in the description down below. Check it out. Look down for the comment where Garrett's going to leave his comment and explain to you what's going on with this snake exactly. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video, which is going to be Music Monday with some Johnny Cash. All right. <laughs> Can you say bye, T? Bye. We're going to go put this snake in quarantine. Sorry, buddy. Everybody gets the same treatment. Bye.